Hello everyone. I'd like to share another interesting video about our Jehovah Witnesses how they help or destroy people's lives. They claim that when they go door to door they help to save people's lives. What about the ones that inside the kingdom halls that are destroying other people's lives? And here's one man here how he destroyed a bunch of people's lives and the police have the evidence on his computer. That's what I just said. The police has the evidence how this guy destroyed many people's lives. And we are going to have fun of learning about this guy. On January 6, 2015, the Paso Robles Police Department in California charged a Jehovah's Witness, Stephen Martin Lindhorst, 51, with the following offenses, would act with a child under 14 years of age, felony, possession of child pornography, felony, possession of explicit child pornography, felony, posting intimate photos of another without consent, misdemeanor. Lieutenant Tim Murphy said Thursday that officers received information on January 6th from a concerned family member of Stephen Martin Lindhorst, alleging that Lindhorst was in possession of child pornography on his personal computer. The police discovered one computer and a hard drive with approximately 24,000 images and 200 videos, some allegedly made by the accused. He remained in San Luis Obispo County Jail as of Thursday afternoon in lieu of $160,000 bail. One person who knows the family said, I am shocked. It must be awful for the family. As far as I know, he was still an elder in 2012. According to another report by J. Divorces, Stephen Lindhorst has been a Jehovah's Witness minister. It has been reported that he was a Bethelite who worked at Watchtower headquarters from 1983 until 1986. Alan Suckram, Lindhorst's brother-in-law currently works at the Watchtower's branch headquarters in South Africa. Lindhorst is originally from Michigan and the son of Kurt Lindhorst and Sandra Lindhorst. Investigators have identified and contacted 14 of his alleged victims. Detectives are attempting to identify all the victims and are encouraging anyone with information to call the Paso Robles Police Department, even anonymously. So, what do we learn? We learn a... This guy had over 24,000 victims' pictures. He molested, had sex, whatever he did to these girls. And he made videos on them. Why are Jehovah Witnesses going bad. Well, I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because it's not God's organization. This is a cult. Because when things like this going on worldwide, that means Jehovah Witnesses you can't be serving God. This religion you're in is pure evil. This guy is going door to door just like any pedophile, child molester that's in your organization. I have made different videos on different men. This guy was a Bethelite and his own family turned him into the police. His own family. Because they knew. Knew. This guy was evil. He was. He destroyed people's lives. So they did the right thing. 
They didn't leave it in the hands of the elders. They say, no, don't go to the police. We will handle it. So, this guy is in big trouble with the police. This guy is dangerous to be on the street. Joe Witt says, you need to wake up. You need to realize you are in a cult. I know I was in it. I know others was in it. It's not a religion. When you got this much evil in your organization and every lie that comes out of Watchtower's mouth is pure evil. You've been promised Armageddon so many years, it never happened. It needs you need to wake up, Jehovah's Witnesses. You need to realize you're not in God's organization. He doesn't need an organization. He doesn't need a religion. All you need is to read the Bible, to believe the Bible, to follow the examples of others that fell to do what God said and Christ said. Following the Bible is all you need. You don't need seven men. You don't need a religion. You sure don't need to be in a cult claiming to be God's organization, God's chosen people. You're not. Otherwise, the Baptists, the Catholics, the Mormons, the Muslims, say they all say they are God's chosen people. What makes you different from them? Oh, because you're 8 million Jehovah's Witnesses? If you do your math, you'll find out you're only a small p compared to other religions, Jehovah's Witnesses. You're a small p. And you're not growing. If this was the truth, you would be over a billion. Jehovah's Witnesses. You're not. Because more comes in, thousands comes out. Because people's waking up and realizing this can't be a true religion. When you got a men like him and other men is breaking God's law, breaking man's law, and your own leaders in the government body do not want you to know your money that you pay for your donations is paying lawyers that's suing the watchtower for having a man like him walking around and destroying people's lives and taking pictures of people without the permission so, people, this is an evil person. He's just a small man compared to the others that Jehovah's Witnesses has been out of control. The other elders and leaders and all these men has been put in jail. Do your research, Jehovah's Witnesses. You'll find out. We're not lying to you. Watchtower is lying to you. It's time to get out of this false religion. It's time to wake up and realize you've been lied to. I know. I have. And I woke up. What's your excuse? You still think those seven men is going to give you eternal life? Those seven men is going to get you in paradise? They're not going to. Because that's all they're always going to be. Men that are always going to lie to you. They're taking you away from the true God. They're taking you away from the, the true Christ. The God you worship is a false God. You need to do your research. Thank you and have a nice day.